Hi folks, welcome to week 10. I um, hope that you're starting to feel like, okay, I'm near the end. I can breathe a little bit more, even though some of you are probably so in depth in some of your projects right now, but just think of it this way. Your ePortfolio, if you've been working on it all the time, every single week and adding to it, then um, submissions do right around the corner. Uh, you'll be absolutely fine. And again, with that final journal uh, assignment, if you're cumulatively writing in the journal, I've made comments the last time you did submit it, um, and I think everybody's fine on that, but just think that your the, your accomplishments are, are grandiose at this point, but you also, um, you're right in line with what you should be doing. And the I was able to read two different best practices about community engagement. And it was very interesting because they were both totally different. Um, one was from the venue of community engagement to try to get people in support of a new school, um, building a new school, school construction. And so that was the focus, but the artifacts, of course, were some of the um, documents that related to that. So that, a great, great way to um, focus on community engagement. I know our town, is looking to either have a K-8 school or a K-12 school. So um, that in itself, construction-wise, um, getting people in, you know, involving stakeholders, um, amazing. And the other one was around budget. And of course, you I, I think I mentioned this last week, a couple of weeks ago, that you've got to keep your, your community informed um, and, and try to do everything you can to let them know what's happening in schools so they can support you. And again, I'll go back to my town. Um, we have uh, Old Ocean Beach is in the winter. We're a, what they call a bedroom community because we're a tourist town. Many, many, many retired people there. Um, and so either low income, retirement, you know, fixed income, whatever, um, then we have the first side of that. We have we have a over a 50% population of free and reduced lunch, which if you know anything about you know Title One factors and supposed alignment, um, Title One and free and reduced lunch go hand in hand sometimes with what the social economic part of your town is. And again, the flip side of that though is um, there are many transient families that come into Old Richard to, to stay in the hotels in the winter and off they go in, into another school system, of course, next year. Um, but then you get the people, which we have so many supportive people in our town, families and such, that, um, but you've got to reach every one of them. And I know when I got voted in for chair, uh, excuse me, school board member the last time, this is my second term, that there were Oh, there are about 5,000 voters who came out, which is huge. Um, but the other candidate got something like 1,300 votes, and I got the rest, you know. So um, it goes to show my point is when it comes to best practices and community engagement and budget that you got to know the strategies of how to get the people out and vote because if you want to, you can get them out there. Um, proof was in the pudding, you know, as far as my me being voted in. Uh, so discussion board continue. Um, we're talking about data, data strategies, data management, data decision making, um, and that in itself is um, that's an everyday occurrence. Whether it's looking at student work, whether it's looking at student achievement, whether it's looking at teachers, teachers growth, teachers PD. Uh, data, data, data. Um, we're in a data-driven world, so that's part of just about everybody's um, language every day, including what are you using for data support systems? What are you using for data collection? How are you making those decisions? Um, so really, um, very uh, expanded week, very interesting week. So keep up the great work. I love seeing your work. I love reading your discussion boards. And I love seeing how you're growing as sound administrators. So I'll close, and I hope you have a fabulous week. Can't wait to see those e-portfolios, too. I know they're going to be knock your socks off. Great. Have a great week. Stay online.